Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, we are going to look at how we go about this drawing here, which is drawing out, drawing an ellipse when you are given the rectangle method. Right. So for that, it says here, right here, the rectangle method. It says A, draw A, B and C, D 70mm and 120mm respectively. So for an ellipse, you have what we call the major axis and the minor axis. This says draw A, B and C, D 70mm and 120mm res respectively. So the minor axis would be A, B because it's shorter, it's 70. And then the, the minor axis, sorry, is A, B because it's shorter, it's 70. And the major axis is, is C, D because it's larger, 120mm. Alright, so in this drawing here, A, B, which is here from A, B, this is 70, which is our minor axis, and then CD would be 120, as that is our major axis. Alright, and then it says that the next thing you're going to do, it says to A, B, C, and D, draw the rectangle E, F, G, H. Alright, so to A, B, C, and D, draw the rectangle E, F, G, H. So that means that from uh, with this, what, what you could do here is just with this center line here, since you know that this is 120, all right, and you would have this this line here, AB, all right, and then you would have CD 120. So if CD is 120, that means that from here to here, 60, and then from here to there, 60, because AB goes through the center of CD, all right. When you draw that, you would get the center point O. If, if I was to copy AB from here and paste it at C and then copy the same AB, this line, from um, here, at, from this point at O, so copy AB from O and bring it over here, alright, I will get these two lines, HG and um, E. Similarly, if I copy the center line CD from O and bring it down here to B, I would get FG and if, if I copied the center line here from O and I brought it to A, I would get EH. Alright. And to copy, it's simple. I would just click on the line AB. Alright, so I would draw my line here. Oh, let me just draw a line of it like so that would be my line um C D there. And then I would have my line A B that would start from like somewhere in the center here. Like that would also extend down the same measurement. Alright. So I was, as I was saying to get it rectangle, I could just offset. So at this point here would be the center point O. So if I sorry, yeah, copy. If I copy that from here and bring it to that end point there, this end point here. Alright, I will get so this line here would be EF is here. And this line will be HG, which is over here. And then as, as I was saying, to get FG, I will just copy this line from here, bring it down to this point, and also to that point. All right. All right. And that would, this line here would be EH, and this line here would be FG. All right. So now we would have um, our, like a square. Sorry, we'd have a rectangle, sorry. And then it would be divided into four parts like that, like we have here. Alright, and then it says that the next thing that we're going to do is to divide, divide CD into any number of equal parts, say 12. Also divide EF and HG into the same number of equal parts, say 12. Alright, so look at this. So like here, they have CD divided into 12. And they have HG and EF divided into 12 as well. Alright. Now for this here, since it's AutoCAD, we don't need to do the entirety of the ellipse. You can just do half and then be ready to get the next half. So we don't need to divide E um H G. Alright, so and we don't need to divide all of um O D because we're not going to be using over this side here. Alright, so we're just going to divide C O or O C from the O to C. We're going to divide that into six parts. Alright, and as you know to divide a line. 
So this is my line OC right here. So this is my line that goes from O to C. And I'm dividing that line into six. I just type divide. All right, I will just type divide. And then I would click on the line. And then it says enter the number of segments, 12. Because I wanted, sorry, six. I was dividing OC into six. So I would type six. Because I want to divide it into six. And then I will see my division here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you don't see these division points, just type DDP. Click on DDP type. And then you can use any one of these to mark your points. I normally use that one. And then you choose the size that you want. Two is normally good. And OK. And then you would points come up there all right so now that's what i did over here at um oc so as you can see this is divided into six one two three four five six and i would number it like this all right so o would be the first point so then z uh, one is here and two three four and five and c and six would be the same points similarly i would divide hf hf is divided into 12 all right and then in terms of numbering hf you number it from so from up here so this line hf is ef sorry is divided into 12 all right and then you just number it like this one two three four five and then c and six would be the same point and then five four three two one so that's how you'd go about numbering it after you've divided it all right so so far we have a rectangle we have these um lines inside it a b and c d and we have oc divided into six and we have ef divided into 12 all right so from there it says that the next thing we're going to do is this it says that the next thing we're going to do is is this it says join a to one two three four and five on cd all right similarly join b to one two three four five on cf all right so look at this so what that means is this this is ec here this is ec all right and as i said we don't have to do it over here as well because um we don't have to do it over here because it's autocad so we can just do half of the ellipse and then mirror it to get the next half and i'll show you how that is done so from a i will draw a line from a to one here from a to two from a to three right from a to four from a to five that those are my lines right there all right similarly i will draw a line from b to one b to two b to three b to four and b to five all right so that's how I, I, I have those diagonal lines from a to one two three four five and from b to one two three four and five all right so then over here it says the next thing we're going to do is this it says from a draw lines to one two three four and five on co and od to meet corresponding lines b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 now that sounds confusing but it's quite simple what that means is this from B here, you're going to draw a line through one point one and OC right here. You're going to draw a line from B through one to where it meets line one up here. And I know this is line one because this is the line that goes from A to one here. All right. So this line goes from A to one. So I know this is the first line. So that's line one. So I'm going to draw a line from B. It's going to go through um, point one and OC and touch this line that goes from A to one. Then I'm going to draw a line from B through 2 to touch this line here that goes from A to 2. So again from B to point 2 to touch the line that goes from A to 2. I'm going to draw a line from B through 3 to touch the line that goes from A to 3. Draw a line from B to 4 to touch the line that goes from A to 4. From B through five to touch the line that goes from a to five and, and i will get my next point there all right right here and then c is, is the last point for that quarter the ellipse now for this quarter down here I will draw a line from a to i will draw a line from a through one to get this point down here from a through one to get the point down here where the line goes from b to one here so from a to point one to get the point where this line goes from b to one from a to two on this line here that goes from b to two and i get my point right here from a to three to get and it's going to meet the point that goes from b to point three here 
So I get that point. Draw a line from A through 4 to touch this line that goes from B to 4 here. Draw a line from A through 5 to touch the line, this line here that goes from B to 5. And then the last point is 6. Alright, so then we can plot our ellipse. So let me just delete um, my ellipse and, and show you. Alright, so to plot my ellipse, I would select Spline, S P L I N E. And then I would come to my points, and the first point would be point A right here. Then this line that goes from B through 1 and touches line 1 would be my first point there. And the line that goes from B through 2 to touch line 2, from B through 3 to touch line 3. B through 4 to touch line 4 right here. B through 5 to touch line 5 here. And B through 6 to touch line 6 right there. Then the next point would be on here. Alright. From A through 5 to touch the line that goes from B to 5 here. From A through 4 to touch the line that goes from B to 4 here. From B through 3 to touch the line that goes from... Sorry, this line that goes from A through 3 to touch the line that goes from b to 3 right here and the line that goes from a to 2 to touch the line that goes from b to 2 here which would be this point and then the line that goes from a through 1 to touch line 1 or the line that goes from b to 1 which is here then lastly or last point would be point b over here and i think right here i marked the wrong point right there so let me just um redo that and you always have to ensure that you are marking the right the right parts otherwise your ellipse won't really look um, smooth and elliptical so let me just redo this and ensure that i am actually marking the correct points every time i don't want the intersection i want the end point okay that snapped to a point there that i did not want it to snap to all right so let me just finish this um really quickly all right so a is our first point there and then the next point is right here as that end point lovely next point is that end point followed by this point here and that point that point and then the point that we want right here followed by that point point that point that point and then we finish off at b and we click spacebar now in order to get the next half of the ellipse here for this ellipse um as a teacher or for anybody who's going to be marking this all right once you um get one half of the ellipse then you will know how to get the next half and what you have to do is just simply mirror it so you won't be marked down for this because if you can get one half that shows me as a teacher that you know how to get the next half all right so now if i click on mirror here ensure that i have ortho turned on click on this point of the ellipse right here all right and just draw this down to just point your cursor downwards and click and it says erase source object we're going to click on no because we don't want to erase the first half of the ellipse and just like that you have your ellipse Using the rectangle method it's a very simple method of ellipse construction all right so i do hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have yourself a nice day and i'll see you in the next video bye